Dude, has that thing got twin turbos? Twin spoolie boys. Boy, you shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Did you hear me page you? Oh. Saab tech to parts. I'm never touching that car ever again. Yeah, it needs shocks. No, your stool needs shocks. You're and then bad the, the exhaust was like, seems like it's cut off like right at the manifold. Like some backyard mechanic just sawzed all of it. Is its cat still there or did it get, um, floor cut. I'm kind of deaf. I have a little bit of a headache. You can see the line right there where it's cut. We'll pick this back up tomorrow. Much respect for all you concrete guys because I never ever want to do that again. All right guys, well, we got our pit dug because the concrete was not thick enough for our lift. And anyone who is planning on doing this, I don't recommend it. This was not much fun at all, but it's out of there, it's done. We got a sketchy ass wheelbarrow that we've been hauling all the dirt and concrete debris with, but I wanted to show you something kind of interesting. So see that big chunk of concrete? That's plenty thick for the lift, but in both sides, on this side, and way on that side, right where we wanted to anchor the lift down, there wasn't thick enough concrete there. So there was like kind of a low spot in the middle that you can see there, it kind of gets thin and then it thickens up again by the edge of the garage for the foundation, for the footings, for the building. But anyway, much needed energy. I'm gonna go get some food. Then we'll talk about this a little bit more. So there's all the dirt we moved and there's all the concrete that we removed. All right guys, day number two of pouring the lift base for the Max Jacks lift that we got right over there. You see the feet, yellow. Right behind the bags of sackcrete. So this is 20 bags of sackcrete. We're gonna go pick up 50 more. I was just out here getting ready. It's December in Minnesota, so we gotta get this thing rolling. I'm getting my wood stove going. Then we're gonna run up to Menards about half hour away, pick up the rest of the sackcrete and then come all the way back. So then we'll pick this video right back up and we got some company coming. All right guys, so it is now currently eight o'clock on Sunday night. We started this whole endeavor of this slab on Friday night at about seven o'clock. So I am beyond exhausted, even holding the camera like this, my arm is just like on fire. But, so here's the deal guys. What you're looking at right now is a copious amount of sack treats. The company that we were gonna order a ready mix truck from had a, basically a minimum for amount and charge of concrete. Plus I'm 30 miles away. So you're probably gonna get a hot load of concrete. It's gonna be sitting, mixing in the truck the whole time. So you have less time to work with it. And also I had to pay delivery for that 30 miles to get it here. So it was just an astronomical number. So what you're looking at is 96 bags of sack treat. So why? You can see some of the bags right over there. Why did we have to do this? So I showed you a couple chunks of concrete. You saw the time lapse. Basically my slab wasn't thick enough to safely install the max jacks that you see over there, the footings right over there. Anyway, they want a four inch minimum for that lift and I don't really like going on the minimum. Anyway, we drilled in, it was like four inches, barely four inches, three inches, not even three inches. It just wasn't gonna work. The frustrating part, it was when we cut this down, this end was too thin, that far end was too thin, everything in the middle was like five inches thick. So literally the only spots that were thin were the spots that we actually wanted to mount the lift. 
So this, what you're looking at right now, is about 135 inches long. It's about five feet wide, maybe a little under five feet. And we dug down a foot. So this is a massive slab of concrete. So if that thing falls off from this, I probably deserved it. But you guys, this is just something we had to get done. Like I said, it was an insane amount of work using, we rented a concrete saw, we cut out the slab, then we chipped away all that crap, we hauled it out with a wheelbarrow, which mind you, we had to fill the tire every single time because that wheelbarrow was on its last leg. So now that this is out of the way, we give it a week to cure, we can bolt it down, then after 28 days, we can actually use the lift. And then hopefully we can get back to some fun stuff. This is the VIS carbon fiber invader hood for the Celica GTS. I'm exhausted, you guys. I just wanted to make this video to kind of show you what's going on and to let you know, you guys, work your asses off. We are in the middle of working on something beautiful on this channel. I'm super excited to get the shop set up and I can't wait for you guys to see what's in store next. So keep grinding. You'll eventually run out of ways to fail. You can't always fail if you never give up. So thanks guys for watching. Subscribe down below if you have not already. Hit that like button, give us a big thumbs up. Long weekend, I know this isn't the most exciting video, but I wanted to give you guys an update on the shop transformation. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.